did you say? <laughs> uh, nothing. I I want uh, the judge to strike off the record uh, and the jury not not know what I said before this recording. <laughs> no, go ahead, repeat it. No, I'm. I, I think I think I'm okay. I'm just going to examine. Oh, <laughs> you can't examine her. Unfortunate. My poor plan. It looks so so sluggish. Have you been watering it properly, Phoenix? Uh, well, Maya actually has. <laughs> I think maybe she's gonna be getting a little bit too much. Oh, Maya, sorry, Charlie. The plant's name is Charlie. Now, whenever I look at it, I better say that it's Charlie. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back, everyone, to Phoenix Right East Attorney Blind. Uh, in the last one, we were trying to. <laughs> you yawned, you asshole. I didn't do anything to yeah, you. Yeah, you did. You yawned, and that made me yawn. Anyway, uh, in the last one, we, we rode, rode around uh, Global Studio. We investigated over at Studio One and Studio Two. We got to see this weird dude named Salmonella and this other bitch named Del. D. Briskis, I think. I don't remember her last name. And we got to see this kid that knows something, but he won't talk to us. So now now Mia's here. And she's gonna help us. So I guess we gotta just go over to the studio and try to find this kid. It's a nice day to the outside. The hotel across the way is always full these days. There's the bell boy, happily cleaning the room. You're gonna examine everything in this fucking room? Nothing's changed in here! That movie? Oh, I'm sure you like it. I'm sure... Oh, wait. <laughs> I'd sure like to see that one again. It's, um, what is it again? Sorry, it's right at the tip of my tongue. You can what be right on the tip of something. Sorry, what was that? I was distracted. <laughs> what, what, the, what the, what the court strike that from the record? <laughs> oh, I guess it's a suspense thriller. I'm really examining everything in these fucking yeah, records. Yeah, because she's here. books. Curious, thank you, that's not the wheel. Did you say something about the desk? Me is desk. Actually, it's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel a little bit professional. Okay. Alright. Wait, can I slide? Okay. No. You can't slide to the left and slide to the right. Showing me that isn't gonna do and get any good You know what they say? Dead men don't tell tales. You sure are talking or not? <laughs> Damn. Man. I love how I just have Mr. Monkey's head in evidence. Yeah. Show me that, is he gonna do any good? So, what's the best thing to do here? We need to get to the studio and talk to that boy. Yeah. Any ideas? <laughs> you have any ideas of who might have done this? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Or I've heard that phrase before. So that's where Maya gets it from. Also, we have a little bit of a different mic setup. I hope it uh, comes through pretty good. Oh god! Oh, uh, look, it's old dumb bitch. Oh god. <laughs> What's wrong? Whip a whip a snap! -a. She's been chasing that boy the whole time? When, when I catch him, I. <sighs> Sounds like she hasn't got any luck catching him. I I got a hostage now, whip a snapper. A hostage. We're at the hostage. I don't see it. <laughs> you gotta touch her for it. <laughs> um, what happened with the boy? I if I see him again, I'll <laughs> lay him flat. <sighs> She's not used to running at her old age. My, what a violent old lady. I gotta voice everyone in this fucking roster! <laughs> yep. Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh, oh, my heart, I don't feel so good. Is she okay? <laughs> She's having health palpitation. Before I go, I like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying that she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What is this about the hostage? Oh, oh, when I get that. When that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. Oh. <laughs> He'll come back for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all the huffing and puffing. 
Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might tell us what talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. Miss Obag, may I- No! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do! Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade, hmm? I wonder. This is where I was remembering it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's... <gasps> that's a card to Studio One? Right, a key card to Studio One? Oh, could I? I could visit Paul Hammer. I'd like to visit where he died. I was his his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Obag? Studio One is in my turf. You'll let me borrow, borrow it then? If I give her this car key, then I won't be able to get back to Studio One. Fuck you, all that. No, I'm kidding. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it won't hurt. Here you go, Miss Olbeck. Car key lent to Miss Olbeck. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You can take these, we're even deal. What's this? A Seal Samurai Journey card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figured it was important to him, though. Thank you. I might have have a use for these. This must be the hoss that she was talking about. Training card. Apparently, is really popular with kids nowadays. Right. I'm off. There she goes, hobbling towards the studio. Oh. Oh wait, you're making time. Good for you. I'm so smart. Mm -hmm. <gasps> there he is! Hey! Hey you, wait, wait a second. Oh, I gotta voice everyone! Phoenix, is that the boy? Yeah, his name is Cody Hackins. I don't know if that's actually a pun. Someone let me know. I think he ran into the dressing room. Oh. Don't go in there. Salmonella's in there. <laughs> and he was a weird one. Look at this. Spaghetti and a kid. So, what the- I think that would make any Italian, like, <laughs> curl their toes. <laughs> Spaghetti? Wouldn't just the sauce come out and the noodles be all stuck inside? Best when slammed. I guess that's why you drink it in one gulp. Slamming spaghetti, right. <laughs> I don't like that visual. L look at this graph. <sighs> Laugh. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, what's the point? It's made to be easier to go up hills. Where have I heard that line before? <laughs> I wonder. Like sister, like sister. <laughs> Must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Oh wait, I need to examine the door. Oh my god! <laughs> the door at least the dressing room is not locked. This is where Cody ran. Let's go in and see if he'll talk to us. He's being... he's just a little guy. You can't be mean to a little guy like that. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Oh! Found you! Damn it! He's getting away! Come back! There, he's back. Damn. How did she... <laughs> hey there. Would you mind helping us out? Please? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Maya. Maya Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo. And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? <laughs> Phoenix, can you, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. <laughs> he really pulled up the Who Asked card on us. It's crazy. Oh, shit. This powers his bag. Now, Phoenix, it's not polite to go through other people's belongings. I don't care, bitch. Yeah, let me- I, ju I just want to see if they have, like, the limited edition- Yeah, so that's your sister! <laughs> she was like, what, what? What? What's in here? And then just are, like, rummaging through all of his shit. Oh. There's always mirrors. Oh. oh. There's always mirrors. You're gonna cosmetic piano queen of Maya. The movie's an old movie. TV show. <laughs> you don't know this, Samurai Boogie Woogie. You're even lamer than I thought. 
Why does everyone know this show but me? <laughs> well, I don't know, Phoenix. Maybe don't be old in 24. <laughs> There's a box of snacks on the table and some cans of soda. They're all empty. I'm glad Maya isn't here to see this. She would be devastated. <laughs> Sorry. What, what was that about Maya? Oh, nothing. Okay. Are you gonna finally talk to our, our critical witness? Yeah, but first I'm gonna... What's that? Boring. Man, why can one person be so lame? If you were a superhero, you'd be lame man Yeah, were you trying to give him the monkey head or the spear? <laughs> Cody, does this look familiar? Hey, my, uh, you are! You're, you are... You are, you know, ultra rare. That means that's cars really are to get. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this, if you help me. But it's my card! By offering me something I already know, you're in, you're affecting it. What? And skewing the very basis of a consumer society, namely the principle of a fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. What did they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? I'm sure they can say that word. <laughs> Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble? If you want to trade, get find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare platinum cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Rare. Why, why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? <laughs> they did have Team Bo steaks on the day of the murder. See how Samurai's cool. You think he's, um, the bomb? Oh my god, Phoenix, you're 24 and you're saying the bomb? <laughs> uh, what a. Why would a lamer like you know it to steal Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude. <laughs> Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell at me. I'm only a young kid. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> So, you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me about it, please? I don't know anything! Mm, looks like a little persuasive is necessary. Maybe a bribe? Yeah, you're gonna tell me, or yeah, else I'm gonna a... shoot you! Yeah, it pulls out a gun. <laughs> well, we already tried the car. I guess you're gonna have to tr take that card and trade it. The samurai spirit is so cool. I wish I had one too. Yeah, take it! It's the murder weapon. Let's get a Maya. Sure, we'll get along. Here, you want these- you want these sleeping pills? Like that, boring. Man, if you're good, you sure are stupid. You, you want this trailer key? How Stop. about this Mr. Monkey Stop head? Stop giving him shit. How about- how about this guide map? Boring! How about- uh, Oh! Hey, that's a seal samurai! Huh? Why is he dragging his foot like that? Where'd you get this anyway? I'm surprised he actually said something about that. Man, what the heck? Boring! Yeah, he said boring to an autopsy report. Yeah, fucking. Boring. Right. Wait, you don't want to show him your offense defense attorney badge? <laughs> Fine, I'll show it to him in here as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You get an achievement for showing every character in the game your badge. <laughs> I already showed it to him. Well, I didn't remember if he did. Alright, it looks like you're gonna have to trade your way for a card. Anything I need to examine in here? No, old bag's already gone off to Studio One. Alright, looks like it's time to go to... Studio 2! <laughs> Trailer? Oh. You made- you did it, you made time move. Good job. Oh, hi. Why am I voicing everyone? You- what- what- you, what- what do you voice in this fucking episode? You voice the judge, Miles Edgeworth, Will Powers, and Salmonella. <laughs> oh, and Gumshoe. You voice five characters and- and three, four of them are not here. <laughs> yeah. What brings you here? Oh, sorry. Hi, it's pretty here. <laughs> oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yeah? The, um, girl with you, doesn't she seem a bit different? Like, isn't she... She isn't even the same person as before? Um, no, nope, she's the same as always. It's just gruesome tits. It's fine. Same as always. Uh, okay, whatever you say. What's wrong with? What? Let me uh. Why is there no music in here? Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's the Seal Samurai training card. I collect those actually. 
I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. That's it, that's the card I need. Do you know how long I've been looking for it? Uh, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am, but I need that card. <laughs> please, I beg you, oh, please trade with me. Trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I even got a ultra rare platinum card. Trade up, huh? <laughs> it's a real good deal for your ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, can't you tell she's desperate? What can someone get from being so excited? Yeah, trade. <laughs> okay. Really? You do it? Then this is for you. <laughs> All right. You did it. Very valuable, apparently. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing something good make you feel great? Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, uh, well, I guess I, I didn't get the chance to... Talk to her? Yeah, oh well. She's gonna she's gonna go put in a protective sleeve with all the other cards. It's like those other... Um, there's some people, because uh, Hasman Hotel just came out with a trading cards as well. For uh, all the Hasman Hotel characters, and people have been collecting those as well. So I get it. <laughs> I have three. I actually have four right now. I have Velvet... Angel Dust, Angel Dust is gun, and then I have a, a box right now. Hey, wait, that's it! That's the last ultra rare card I need! Come on, give it to me, please! You gotta let me have it! Well, I never seen him so eager. <laughs> right, okay, how about a trade? Right on! I'll give you the Samurai Spear and throw in the Evil Magistry for boot! No, 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 not that kind of trade! I don't want cards, I want information. Well, oh, you sure? Find my me! URP card given. <laughs> okay, Phoenix, let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that will help us, we can have him on this take stand tomorrow. Alright, look at him. <laughs> Just leave him there. <laughs> so, you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool. I. I guess. You're judging him by looks? You have to. You have to look at the actions at his life! I mean, lecture by life by a grade schooler? I like him too, don't you? Don't you? Oh, uh, me? Yeah, I love the Steel Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing is about the Steel Samurai then. Will Powers is acting. <laughs> maybe, maybe. His fighting skills. Yeah. Gotta think of something. I like when he uh, vanishes, vanquishes his foes. Yeah, was him. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out. I'm a fan album. Aw, oh, Samurai scrapbook. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai? I got every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public? I even take pictures of the Steel Samurai landing in the final blow. I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out. I got my new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet you, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. You want to hear it? The Steel Samurai. Path of Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Yeah, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept it. Thank you. Thanks. photos of the victory scenes of each battle the Steel Samurai won. What's with people always giving me shit to Maya? What a life! <laughs> Question mark. But yeah. Oh, she, she's like, what are you staring at me for, Phoenix? You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody, he needs to know because we're, he's fighting for justice. Isn't that what the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to keep... Help us fight for great justice, too. I, I saw... I saw everything. Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. Alright, what the fuck did you see, kid? <laughs> Cody, I need you to... I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got there at the day around 2. I had to come in through the woods in the back so the old lady didn't see me. I kind of got lost, though. So I was there for maybe like a half an hour or so. And then I finally got to the studio. After that... What was it, Cody? The, the Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. 
He uses Samurai Spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but you obviously aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right, Mia? Yeah? I think we can say for sure that means the samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who could have done it was Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this one in the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be, be for wise. Best to leave this one alone. Uh-oh! Who's this? Who else says pal? Oh. <laughs> Not so fast, pal. Fuck! <laughs> I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness. And he's under police protection. Starting now! Come on, son. You got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No! I ain't going! Uh-oh. That didn't go so well. We're back at Sierra Leeds. And we have a serious handicap in court. What are we gonna do, Maya? Well, um, I really need to be going. But don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come to the trolley, Mar, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I believe. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. To be continued. Yep. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Not what do you mean, thanks for watching. We're at like 22 minutes. <laughs> say that shit. We're going to trial, bitch. Now you get to voice three characters at once now. <laughs> Yay! And I have three characters to avoid. Four. Yep. Go for it. Oh, uh, Mr. Wright. Yeah? Why do you look so unhappy? <sighs> oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. <laughs> That's so fucked up, Mia. <laughs> this is no time for dead people jokes, please. <laughs> you know, we're going into this trial with with utter, utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, there should be we should be able to find something we've overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't gonna be easy. Get ready to use that noggin of yours! I'm so tired. What are you tired from? Living. <laughs> now you get to voice a judge! <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Oh. <laughs> Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving that they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if this would... It'll be that produce... Oh, please, no. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manila to the stand. I hate it. Or that director. <laughs> He's sweaty. What's on his neck? <laughs> Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me? I'm the director. I make the steel samurai new waffle. <laughs> Salmonella, I'm a director of television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in this tra someone in the trailer on that day did it. 
right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Pressure! Pushing down on me. Pushing down on you. You're an asshole. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um... Jerking off. <laughs> His action sequence. <laughs> it took a lot more time than I thought it would. <laughs> Wait, where, where is he in this? Oh, oh this they, is everyone else. Yeah, they, uh... They, I think him, Salman Ali, the director, ate at Studio 2. Yeah. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. When I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. Oh, or he just didn't eat. We were in the middle of the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. What do you mean by that's just about hmm. it? The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. A raffle. Mr. Wright, <laughs> you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Alright, start picking that thing apart, bro! Hold it! <laughs> I was at the studios around 9 that morning. Hold it! Hold it! Is that when you always come to work? Oh, oh no, I come in all sort of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know about you freaks in the industry. <laughs> Still, for what it's worth, I was pretty busy all that day. Sad face. Tell us more about that. During the morning, I was doing, um, jerking, I mean, an action sequence. <laughs> jerking off. <laughs> in, the, in the employee area? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Bro, you are admitting a lot of things. It was a drunk off scene between the steel samurai and the evil magistrate. <laughs> was anyone else in the run there? <laughs> oh yeah, that security lady was also drinking off. <laughs> no, she was watching. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> she was cheering on camera. <laughs> you can believe it. She certainly has her lungs for it. Anyone else? Just, just us four. Yeah, remember Penny was doing other shit. Yeah, so I'm trying to remember the four that he said. So, so him, Hammer, the security Will lady, Powers. Willpower, and, and yeah, and yeah, Jack Hammer. Okay. <laughs> Jack and my hammer. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. The jerk off session lasted longer than it should have. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure you already heard about this, but Willpower has twisted his cock during the run through scene. <laughs> Your cock is twisted. <laughs> All right, that's the limp. <laughs> yeah, that's the limp. limp. <laughs> Which of course led to me missing my lunch. What is Roths? Rolling. On floor shitting. <laughs> that'd, be, I, that'd be really funny if they did that. I kind of want to look it up. What the fuck is Rolfs? <laughs> Rolfs rolling on the floor, starving. But, I, oh, I guess that is. Never mind then. I heard that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. What exactly did they have for lunch? Oh, uh, T-bone steak. The assistant cooks them up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones from left out in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. But I had a meeting in the studio too, trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. Okay. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? I'm. That must have been tough. <laughs> Phoenix? Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Hmm. Thinking. So going back through what he was saying. You can open up the court record, I think. I don't know if there's any evidence in there. <laughs> you can say it's a little- maybe it'll add more to it if you say it's a little vague? That's what I was thinking. Actually, there is something that's been bothering me. Mr. Manila, just now you said steak at least. So you ate something other than steak? Yeah, good call. I had some chocolate in my pocket. 
That voice is really <laughs> irritating my throat. I'm sorry. Which I use to stave off starvation. I see. Is that all? I'm sure I was onto something there. You want to press it again and press that uh, there's a controversy? Oh, okay. okay. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story in our budget. Cut Get again. this! The sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Manila, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. <laughs> so nobody left the table during that whole meeting? During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left the chairs. You didn't take a single break? Er, uh, well... Y yeah, not not a one... S sweats. Oh, why is he sweating so much? <laughs> Mother- <ew. laughs> I'm afraid I have an idea. I'll wait for one to come up and hit him with it later. Phoenix? If his alibi holds, powers is finished. Press him as hard as you can and find out where he's lying. Is that the studios from- okay, so maybe go back to that point that he's like, I didn't get to eat at all, and say controversy then? Con hmm. Contradictory? That's the only thing that came up from pressing. And there went else to the lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting at 2, so I ended up skipping lunch. You have fun? <laughs> uh, I don't- I don't know what to- like, there's- there's none of these that make sense. Well, there was a thing you can press them on it. Oh, am I crazy? So, yeah, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, they'll say, can you believe that? Yeah, it must've been- Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manila! <laughs> what you want? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. Yeah, I mean, I was I was thinking that. So, yeah. cause, cause, uh, they had that, that little, like, oven or whatever that had, like, soot in it. Mm-hmm. And, and they had, like, plates on the, on the thing, and, and he was like, he was like, oh, but they don't have bones. So, 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 so it wasn't... the bones? Either that, or it wasn't steaks. Yeah. There were two plates. The kind of plates that the ones that, like, the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Uh, Nora, um, I could call sweats. I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. What I did eat, after all. Don't lick your lips, Tebow steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Oh yeah, man, who likes to eat? I suspected as much. So, when exactly did you eat? We took one break after, after or during the meeting. I uh, wolfed it down then. A mental image I will carry with me to the grave. Wait a second. If they took a break during the meeting, that contradicts his, his testimony. Press him on that one a bit. Yeah, so sometimes you have to press him on something early in the testimony and then bring it up later. I mean, like, wait a minute, you just said earlier that you, you said this, and then it blows their whole thing. You didn't take a single break. Oh uh, well, yeah, not not a one. Hmm, was he sweating bad so much? I wonder. If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. Press him. Wait a second, Mr. Manella, you just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate the t bone steak during a break? Oops, awful. Well. Uh, um. Mr. Manila, what's this all about? Well, well, yeah, I guess we did take a, a, a small little, little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness. I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Mm hmm. Very well. Mm -hmm. yeah, Mr. Manila, <laughs> your testimony, please. Mark. <laughs> Uh oh, Edgeworth is laughing. What a, what a hot laugh. <laughs> okay. Am I though? Yeah, for one and more, that we took a break, Raffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15, that's only 13 in base 12. What? In, in base 12? 
That's so weird. I can't wait to press that and Phoenix is like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, yeah! Who uses base 12? What the fuck is base 12? You know how I was talking to you of, like a while ago about how like hexadecimal is base 16 and, and whatnot? <laughs> it just means that like for 12 you go, um, I think it's like 0 through, uh, 0 through C, I think? Okay. Uh, a is 10, B is 11, C is 12. Huh. And and then uh, it wraps it wraps back around, so 13 is 10, 14 is 11, one, something something like that. Okay. Uh, you didn't read your. Okay. <laughs> then whatever. That's that's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Steams. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. I don't know. I, I scurf down food very fast. Cameron can testify. I gotta tell me about all the time. Yeah, we took a break. Raffle. What time exactly did you take this break? B2 o'clock. Oh. 2.30. Right at the fucking murder. 2.30? That's the time of the death. So you could have gone to Sudo you one killed Hammer, and came back. I guess it's possible, like, time-wise. Uh-oh, what, what's... But it was only 15 minutes. 15 and 13 from base 12. What were you doing for 15 minutes? <laughs> Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on that table. Oh, right. The other one was Diva's. Sorry. D Vesquez plate. D Vesquez, the producer. To eat us a uh, T-bone steak in 15 minutes. That's a that's quite a feat. Don't. Yeah, I'm a fat ass. <laughs> Not enough time for someone say commit murder at Studio One. Whoa. Why is that? What? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning, Your Honor? The testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear: the people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Is he gonna bring out the monkey head? Monkey. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Cat got your balls? <laughs> Sir, that's not the phrase. <laughs> Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. I love that you're doing the hand motions that Miles is doing. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? Um... Well, so this was blocking the path till 2.15. Or from 2.15 to 4, so I don't think it's possible for anyone... So you're saying you claim a lot of proud or saying no, it's impossible? I think it's impossible, right? Because, like, t like it, they said they took it, the break at 2.30, which would mean that uh, if they went to go do it, it would have to be from 2.30, like, around that time. Yeah. But the monkey was blocking the path at 2.15, so I think I think it's impossible. Maybe. You don't sound very confident about that. Are you saying... Well, you think about the... Wait, can you pull up the court record? And then pull up profiles? Okay, so... We, Will Powers is our client, right? Yeah. And we, we know that he's innocent, because he's our client. <laughs> They already cleared the old bag because you couldn't fit into the thing. Oh, right now. Oh, sorry. I'm already fucking up this entire thing. I got my Holy foot stuck shit. in the sheets. What sheet. the fuck are you doing? <laughs> my foot got stuck in the sheets. The the old bag was cleared because she couldn't fit into the spare suit, so there's no way she could have passed. Jack Hammer's the thing. He's dead. Cody's a, a grade schooler. He couldn't fit into that thing. He wouldn't have met the height. Penny has alibis of what she was doing because she had work that she had to get done. And whatnot, and the only two people we haven't seen alibis from are these two. Yeah. And then Gumshoe and Miles and Maya, they don't count though. <laughs> they're not. Alright, you know what? The, the, just because you're saying that. Logically, this is what I want to say, but this one seems like the more fun option, so, uh. Yeah, to continue this fucking case. Also, if you said, like, oh no, it was impossible, then you're like, yep, my client's guilty! <laughs> He did it! If I agree to that... Wait. <laughs> if I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then this trial's over. 
Mr. Prowls be found guilty for sure. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to think logically how they could have gotten around the monkey head. Monkey. Because like that picture showed like there was really like no way to get around it. Huh. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break of the meeting. But uh. With 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm. I suppose you might say that. Alright, I got the judge thinking now. Tsk, tsk, tsk. He's gonna break the <laughs> Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. No, I can never make a dull moment with you, baby. Uh, uh, what's your point, Edgeworth? I've been edging this entire time. <gasps> he is Edgeworth. <laughs> You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. The court record? Oh, he's gonna bring the fucking monkey. <laughs> yep. Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4, the path between the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monkey's head had... <laughs> Edgeworth, Objection! Are, Edgeworth, are you stupid? <laughs> Objection! That's a man. <laughs> what? You're right. You're right. True. The break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene, the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey's head barred the way. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. <laughs> and somehow, I feel no desire to correct him. No counter-argument, Mr. Wright? Then I'm afraid you lose this round. <gasps> oh, shit! I guess you were right. <laughs> My bad. To <laughs> be fair, I couldn't remember. <laughs> you know what? That's, uh, that, that's fine. I believe we have seen enough en Yeah, en evidence. Evidence. I feel like, I feel like you, after saying that one. Enemy. Enemy. <laughs> Oh, he's just sitting there bowed. Yeah, he's he's, he's patiently up waiting for me to read his line. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over. That's what he looks like behind. He got tight ass. Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows: We have found that there were several other people in Studio Two on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio One. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is de decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Fuck. Alright, the kid's coming. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. Order, I will have order. I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. So who was right? You were right. I knew it. Sorry. Uh oh. Mia's pissed us. What do we do now, Mia? If everything in that trailer has an- if everyone in the trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia? Well, tell me you're giving up. If you give up, then what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I never give up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear during your cross-examination. The people in that trailer couldn't have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, what's going to happen to me? You're gonna go to death row, buddy. Sorry. Guy, it seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we'll prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us. Be... And be yourself. Be strong. You are the Seal Samurai. You are the children everywhere, after all. I... You... Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. For Cody! <laughs> Poor Cody. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
You can't edge me like this! Well, we're about to get into a whole other uh, court session. Fine. If we, conti if we continue this, it's gonna be a while. Yeah... I think I think we can we can wait a bit to get uh, Cody's testimony. It's gonna be funny having Edgeworth grilling him. He's he's gonna be Cody's gonna be like you don't even know like anything about this steel samurai Edgeworth. You're so uncool and Edgeworth is gonna be like E God. <laughs> e God is that what? He's yeah. <laughs> he's gonna shit himself. He's gonna do that face where he's like so shocked and just like and, and you're gonna hear. Him. You see like a black circle start coming under his eye. He's hunched over the desk and like that son of a bitch. You got me. Yeah. I don't know anything about the steel samurai. <laughs> Yeah, and then, and then and then Phoenix is gonna be like, objection! Edgeworth is not cool. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, what a lamo. <laughs> Could be me. <laughs> yeah, lamo man. Yeah, for a, for an adult, you sure are stupid. Yep. But anyways, we'll save uh we'll save Cody's cross examination for the next one. Mhm. Mm we're we're gonna be uh figuring out who really done it. Yeah. Maybe it is Will Powers. Damn, I can't believe we're giving up on our client in the third episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did it. Fucking ship him off to Attica. <laughs> yeah. But, until next time. Yep. Bye-bye.